it's Azra from SOBs, and I'm here with... Uh, Sanche Dharmic Jan. Okay. Yeah. All I right. go by Dharmic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So you own... Tell me about the Dharmic Initiative, first of all. Uh, so basically, that's a fancy way of saying I'm an artist manager. Okay. Um, I have my own management company. Okay. Um, and I manage a rapper by the name of Kemba, who is signed to Republic Records through uh, Solomon Sounds and Sounds Music. Um, so yeah, that's basically... I mean... I've been interested in, in working in artist management for probably about three, four years. Right. Um, and so that's uh, something I believe really passionate in, in terms of like telling the story of the underdog from the ground up and just sort of building with an artist. Okay. Did you get the name of the Dharmic Initiative from Lost? Or no, <laughs> well, I kind of actually. Okay. Um, my I, I used to do college radio, and and my ho my co-host um, was like, you should use Dharmic Initiative because it, because he got it from Lost. He was like, that's like a great it's thing so or awesome. whatever. So yeah, yeah. I, I actually never watched Lost, but he was like, you should use that. I was like, all right, fine. Yeah, it's a huge time <laughs> commitment, but if you ever have it, it's worth it. Fair enough. I, I'll Ups put it on my list of things to do. <laughs> all right. Um, so you always you also work at Alamo. Yeah. Okay. What do you do at Alamo? Um. So I'm involved in the marketing at Alamo um, I started like at the end of uh, end of August last year and uh, been there you know 10 months and just sort of like I said from the uh, from the rollout plans to the execution um, involved in like some of the press stuff streaming etc just across the board um, marketing for the for the company so there has to be a lot of cross reference I would say in artist management and and marketing where does that kind of can you point out some of those points for Totally. You know what I mean? I mean, I think ultimately when you're when you're working with an artist, whether you manage them or you are working with them because they're signed at the label, um, it's all about, you know, when it comes to putting out music, it's it's kind of the same approach, right? It's about who will be the gatekeepers and champions for an artist's music. And from a marketing standpoint, you're really focusing on that, right? Because that's ultimately what marketing is. It's getting the music out to a larger audience and finding the, the champions for it. Um, artist management... It involves that, obviously, especially when an artist is signed, you have partners, you have a marketing department for the label, whatever, that really focuses on that. But, um, you know, there's a lot of other responsibilities when you're artist managing. And artist management is really that, but also it involves making sure that the artist's, like, creative vision is going the way he wants, making sure the artist is is getting paid, whether it's shows or whatever, and, and making sure that they're happy and, and doing well. <laughs> it's almost low-key babysitting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> in, in, its own, in its own way. <laughs> Career babysitting. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Okay. yeah. okay, but it, pay, it's a, it pays off in the end, I would say, for both parties. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, you know, it's being that involved in an artist's career is, uh, it's a lot of responsibility, you know, because you essentially have their life in your hands and you know I think that's not something you can take lightly and so yeah I mean when when the artist journey is is going well and and you can put them in the right place and and build the right team around it and, and just get the music going in the right direction like yeah it definitely is beneficial um to to both the artist and the, and the manager for sure okay so at Alamo Alamo's a small label mm -hmm. um is everyone kind of involved in submitting music or picking artists that could be future signees yeah i mean i think uh we kind of have an open door policy when it comes to like anybody can can find the next artist that we really feel strongly in signing um you know me personally i like to focus on the artists that we have since mm -hmm. we do sign a, quite a bit of artists mm -hmm. and so you know just making sure that that we're doing right by them and really focusing more on on developing the artists on this on the roster and and less on signing artists mm -hmm. but you know if if i something uh came across my ears and i felt really strongly about it i can definitely bring it into to the team to see if we want to sign it for sure okay so you're here today to talk about how you got into the music industry how you broke in mm -hmm. do you want to just give i guess like a brief preview into sure. that sure i mean I, I think my story is like anybody else's story in that i don't think there's really like a conventional path to be in the music industry at all um i didn't know that this was a possibility when when i started and or when i when i got to you know new york and and you know how i got here i don't think i would have seen ha happening like five years ago you know so um well <laughs> more than five years at this point but but still even five years ago I don't think I would have seen this coming so I guess that's uh, it's it's really about 
just um, persistence and, um, you know, not... Uh, not dismissing anybody that sort of comes across your path and, and, and any option that comes across your path and just sort of um, looking at the big picture as well. Um, so that's that's kind of a, a hint at kind of what I guess I would be talking about. Okay. Okay, yeah. so what would your advice be outside of persistence? Like, <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> what would your advice be for someone really wanting to get into the music industry? And I would say non-traditional, like not a college student, not doing an internship, like somebody who I guess almost wants to make a career switch. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't really intern, to be honest, yeah. before I, I got into this. And I mean, I'd say doing your research is is, is also Agreed, really important yeah. outside of persistence, like understanding who does what, mm -hmm. how things work mm -hmm. and just trying to really and it's research can involve like reading. With, there's obviously a lot of good books that have a lot of information, but also just as you watch interviews, mm -hmm. whether it's artist interviews or behind the scenes, people's interviews, just write down the names that they're saying and google them find yeah. out what those guys do find out how to get a hold of them yeah find them on social media you know reach out that type of research i think is super important because if you don't know who's who you'll never figure out how to get where you need to go hey guys this is sanjay dharmic jan i work at alamo records and i own the dharmic initiative and i'm here at the legendary sobs <laughs>